a blessed morning everyone um i just want to share to you what happened last night so uh i'll begin uh by saying that uh, i was praying my uh evening prayer and devotion before i sleep because uh <clears throat> i have allotted uh at least an hour or two uh, two hours of prayer before I uh, go to bed. <clears throat> so I was a little bit complaining to uh, our Lord in my prayer because uh, just recently I've been experiencing uh, sudden uh, discomforts and pains in my body out of nowhere. And uh, I uh, would ask the Lord to... Uh, protect and deliver me but uh, it's as if uh, he's allowing these things to happen mm, and uh, I find it meaningless but we know as Christians that uh, Peter said that we must not be surprised if we experience uh, <clears throat> pains and uh, sufferings because this is part of uh, uh, purifying us and our uh, Christian walk but uh, it's as if uh, it's been too much for me for the past two weeks so I was crying to the Lord um, last night because the enemy keeps on buffeting and tormenting my physical body so while I was crying and praying fervently and diligently to the Lord and because of exhaustion <clears throat> um, I think it was almost midnight when I fall asleep uh, while I was praying so I fell asleep and uh, Uh, the next thing that I can remember is that uh, uh, me and my wife, we were deciding to buy a property on the dream. We were deciding to buy a property and uh, we already have uh, found one uh, that we really like. So uh, we plan to... Uh, withdraw our money and uh, pay for uh, the down payment of the property and then after doing so we transferred our things there on the new house and uh, <clears throat> we were gathered as one family <clears throat> we were uh, talking I don't know what the, the subject is but out of a sudden there was like this glorious explosion um, and in a blink, in a twinkling of an eye, <clears throat> we felt changed from this mortality to immortality like uh, what uh, Paul said in uh, I think uh, First Corinthians from, uh, from this flesh to a glorious body <clears throat> from corruption to incorruption we felt that in the twinkling of an eye and we went up in the air very sudden it's it's very surprising it's out of nowhere we did not expect that it would happen <clears throat> and in uh, first Thessalonians 4 16 and 17 we know that that is the rapture and uh, if you've been uh, going back to my channel, this may be the seventh time that I have dreamed about it. But uh, in this dream, there is something special that had happened. Uh, <clears throat> it's as if the Lord, uh, although it's a sudden event, the Lord made me experience uh, for this sudden rapture event to, uh, to be... Uh, <clears throat> in a slow motion so that I can uh, I can realize that every cell of your physical 
corruptible body will be changed <clears throat> to incorruptible. Every cell, uh, everything in your corruptible body will be changed to something glorious. And uh, when I, I finally, when we were finally translated or transformed in that glorified body, <clears throat> I felt uh, so much bigger and stronger and it's like I have eyes in all directions. I don't know how to explain it but I can see my back, my side, my front. I can see uh, 360 degrees <clears throat> of my vision. Um, I was, I feel so awake. <clears throat> And uh, it is really fascinating to, to tell you that it, it doesn't appear like a dream. It appears like it is very real and, uh, and glorious. So I can probably describe it this way. Um, in our physical body, we were like contained in a cocoon. And in a split second, we will break free from this cocoon. To become a glorious butterfly, uh, but of course that process is slow in 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 a butterfly. But the, in the rapture, it's gonna be instant. Uh, it's like there's a sudden explosion uh, in in my in our body, and we were changed just like that, and we went up in the air, and then the dream stopped there. And uh, again, you can check my channel. It's just crazy and absurd to say and to think that uh, this may be my seventh or my eighth time to dream about the rapture. And the uh, final note I want to say before I end this video is this. In reality, we are really planning to buy a property. And we already have decided, I mean, uh, there's already um, a property that we really want to buy. We have uh, agreed that uh, this property is the, the, the one that we want. And we already plan, plan to, uh, to give the down payment of it. And what's amazing is that all of these details were the same on the dream. I mean, the value of the property, the discount that we are supposed to get, our agreement, the decision that we want to buy it, and, uh, you know, um, paying the down payment. So, it's amazing that it's the same details. Um, and if it is the Lord's will that uh, we are, we will be able to buy it, we may be able to transfer in a month or two. And uh, it's the same thing that had happened on the dream. We were now on the new property and we were, you know, a regular family gathering and, and meeting. But all, all of a sudden, just, just a sudden, our physical body exploded in a glorious way. It's not something scary. It, it, it was an explosion in a glorious way and we were translated from the physical to the glorified body. <clears throat> so, uh, and the other, probably the last, the, the, the final thing I want to say is, um, I've been having dreams of the rapture since 2017. But this year, 2021, I have had like four probably already, three or four probably already. And uh, <clears throat> it's the same thing. It's uh, it's sudden, it's glorious, and uh, it is also, uh, it, it feels so real. It doesn't look like a dream, but it feels so real. So... Christians and 
of my fellow believers in Christ. Um, I know that you also feel that the Lord's coming is nigh, it is near. We should uh, keep our faith. Let's hold our uh, uh, faith and proclaim it to people who still don't know Jesus. And if you are also experiencing sufferings and pains, you may you may see that I don't feel uh, comfortable. I am actually I, I feel a little uh, pain in my body right now, but I just want to upload this video as soon as possible before I forget the details of the dream. But then again, if you are a Christian, please make sure that you are really right with God. Don't play games with God. Sanctify your life um, in all aspects. There should be no uh, reoccurring sins that you are committing. If there be any fornications or adultery in the eyes or lying, stealing, or all of those stuff that are filthy in the eyes of God, please ask for forgiveness and uh, make sure that Jesus is in your heart. And you're living in the power of the Holy Spirit because uh, the Lord knows whom to take. The Lord knows who are the legitimate children, who, who are His legitimate children. And may we be part of uh, the bride that will be taken out and, uh, and see you in the air. The Lord is coming and we don't know when, but let's just be prepared always. Father, I pray for conviction in this video. Uh, make us understand and realize that, that this uh, uh, vision and dream came from you. And may this speak to the hearts of everyone to uh, um, always be ready. At any moment you come, you would come. May we be taken and meet you in the air and be with you in all eternity. We also pray for boldness for us to speak out our faith and uh, and uh, bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to all people who still don't know it. Oh God, be with us in, in trials and sufferings. Help us. All glory is yours alone in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.